Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. How many hours per day do you meditate now? For me? Yes. 24 hours. <laughs> Meditation has been practiced for thousands of years, but what does modern science say about it? What happens to our brains and our bodies when we meditate? And how can we do it better? We can think of it analogous to sport. There are many different types of sports that allow us to develop many different skills and types of fitnesses. Tip one, there are many different types of meditation. Find out what works for you. With meditation, it's best to think of it as a, a mental hygiene sort of spa moment, really. We only need about 10 minutes a day, as long as we do it consistently. It doesn't have to be very formal, just taking a walk in the park whilst being mindfully aware of everything around us can produce measurable effects. There's so many resources out there, different types of meditative practices. Don't go for the challenging one. It has to be effortless. It has to feel nourishing. Find the one that works for you. Tip two, don't try to empty your mind. When we start meditating, put to the side this preconceived ideas that meditation in general is about to have a mind free of thoughts. What is important is are we aware of these thoughts as passing events in the mind or are we so caught up in them that we're completely lost track and presence of our bodies and everything that surrounds us. The benefits of mindfulness are multiple. Mindfulness has an effect on increasing hippocampal volume. It's involved in memory formation and consolidation as well as retrieval. The degeneration of hippocampus is linked to Alzheimer's disease and we see hippocampal volume uh, reduction in depression, schizophrenia, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder from age of 40 onwards, particularly parts of the brain, they slowly start to degenerate. The brains of 40 to 50 year old experienced meditators, long-term meditators, much tighter packed uh, with grey matter. They have the same thickness of grey matter in the kind of outer rim of the cortex as 20, 30 year old meditators and healthy people who don't practice. Tip three. Don't always rely on a meditation guide. When we're constantly guided, it can help us to stay on track, but we don't want to get into a habit of it. Because and the proof of the pudding is to be able to work with our own mind and self-regulate, and therefore don't make meditation yet another dependence on someone else's voice, words, instructions. Working with our own mind, being mindful of it, we can do it regardless of any religious denomination, whether we are atheists, agnostics, it works for everyone because we're all inherently aware. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.